So, check this out. What we got here? This here is Bowser's Reaction Pit, where we do weird stuff and listen to music. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show him something that uh, I've seen. There's this song in particular that... This isn't the song that I meant to do originally, but I remembered that I listened to this um, particular uh, instrumentalist uh, on occasion, and I wanted to show him to see what the hell his reaction would be, since we are a reaction channel. Okay, so you know, the, I'm sure that once the song starts going, that you'll recognize it. Um, the Ecstasy of Gold is the, uh, what the hell is that guy's name? Sergio Leone, um, the Western, Spaghetti Western uh, director. Out of the trilogy, Fistful of Dollars, Few, few Dollars More, and The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Um, Metallica kind of likes this song for some reason, The Ecstasy of Gold. You'll, you'll know it when you hear it, but I'm, it's not about the song. It's about how it is played that I think that you will find to be interesting. Okay. So, uh, well, let's, I, uh, I just picked this video randomly, so I don't know if she'll talk or I, don't, I have no idea what this is going to be. But I, I just wanted to see her play, so hopefully I picked a decent video. You done there, Spine Shank? Oh, my back hurts. You neck your back? All right, check it out. Fuck. Cool. That's pretty I want one of those. Fucking cool, isn't it? I'd be, I'd be like, hook that up to my, like a car stereo. <laughs> and you'd be like, whoa, whoa, what the hell is that? That is called a theremin. Huh. It was the very first electronic instrument uh, ever invented. Like, you would have thought, like, okay, what I used to think, yeah. What I used to think was, you remember the dudes, you remember the uh, guys called Kraftwerk from Germany? They had, like, all their own, like, synthesizers that they actually, like, built them themselves and stuff. Mm hmm this by far predates that came out apparently this instrument came out in the 20s 1928 uh was a product of a soviet government sponsored research into proximity sensors and uh the dude was a russian uh physicist named lev sergeyevich theremin known in the west as leon theremin yeah so huh. basically how it is is there's like a magnetic field or something the way that it is and one hand controls like tone or something and the other one has the notes and I, I've seen this chick play it before and so, she's got a lot of songs. So like one's controlling like your... Uh, like the pitch and the... Your hertz. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, 
operating principles is distinguished among musical instruments in that it is played without physical contact. I'm trying to see. There's a moves his or her hands in the proximity of two metal antennas. The distance from one antenna determines frequency and pitch, and the distance from the other controls the amplitude or volume. Higher notes are played by moving the hand closer to the pitch antenna, and louder notes are played by moving the hand away from the volume antenna. Huh. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So this chick, I think she's one of the only people that has really like mastered it to this point. And I, like I said, I found her channel a long time ago, and I'm like, huh. And it was because I was watching Kraftwerk. Uh, there I said it. I like the German guys' Kraftwerk from the late 70s the German guys. Okay. All right, let's check this more out, huh? Yeah, that's pretty badass, huh? That was mesmerizing. We got like. Fuck. Oops. What are you doing? Just turning it down. Let it play. I've never heard her do uh, a vocalization over the top of it like that before. Some of the original songs that she has, she just plays straight up just the instrument and samples itself kind of like um who was that one dude that we had watched before uh god for the life of me i can't remember his name where he would he would sing something oh, loop it and then tony bauer hit the hit the Rick pedal johnson <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you know what i mean you hit the pedal loop it yeah, and shim would sham. start playing it again and then like she would she created her own you know she just, yeah i know the guy yeah talking about. Yeah, what the hell is that dude's name? Whatever. But the thing is, is so much you can do with just the layering of sounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, that it's got a really like ethereal sound to it too. You know, it, it, I like that. Like that I would have that's a, cool. That that would, instrument would have a good place in like a band like him. Something like that. You know, yeah. just kind of like, or like if Typo Negative was still around, throw that in there. Yeah, kind of cool. Yep. All right, but the thing is, it's just so hard to find anybody who plays it or who has mastered it. I would play it. So it's a matter of, I don't think you could play that. E I don't think I'd be able to play that either. It's <laughs> yeah, right. It'd be like ooh, <laughs> it sound all screwed <laughs> up. <laughs> what are you saying? I cannot get comfortable. I'm saying it would sound different if I played it because I got weird alien hands. Yeah, anyhow, so what'd you think of that then overall? That was cool. That was very cool. Yeah, interesting, hey. huh? Hey, thanks. Right on. So uh, tell us what you guys thought of it. Um, check her channel out. Um, not in any way, shape, or form being endorsed by her. Or do I expect any feedback from that? Or It's just something that I, I saw, and I'm like, I wonder what he would think of it. Hey, hook me up with that backpack. Hey, no. How about we uh, I need a backrest. We'll see you guys later. Right. Thanks for hanging out with us. Come on, give me a backrest. Oh, I know.